Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. We're going to be doing a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to solve a BLSM subnetting problem. Now, in, a, in, a, in your question, if you have a certain diagram given, sort of like this, and you have this host assigned to these uh, switches or PCs or whatever, you have this default address and you ha you're supposed to divide these in for these number of hosts and these serial links. Then I'll then the calculation that you use is BLSM subnetting. All right. So uh, in the beginning, what you do is you arrange these hosts in a descending order. So you always assign uh, network addresses to the the highest number of hosts that uh, so that any device requires. So in this case, 420. Next comes 130, then 100, then 38, then 28, and then six. And for these serial links, each serial link has two hosts and one network and one broadcast so two 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 for all these serial links all right so this chart that i drew here uh, I, i'm just drawing it to the third and the fourth octet because the number of hosts that the highest number of hosts that we have is 420 and it's not that much if it was something like 42,000, then we would have to draw the chart for first and the second octet as well so we increment from 120, we increment to 256, then 512, then 1024, and so on. But since we just have 420 is the highest number of hosts, we just keep it till 1024 for now. All right. So uh, for 420 hosts, you need you need about 512 uh, bits extra. So what you do is uh, this is like the magic. You have to find out the magic number that you will increment the next uh, network address to. So let's just uh, draw a line. All right, so the the line is from 420. If for 420, the line is at 500 at 12. All right, so uh, the what you call the magic number would be two, because uh, this is actually the real uh, thing, and this is like uh, what we are adding up from 128, like from the fourth octave and so on. So this is actually the real number. So 22 two is like the uh, what you called. Um, magic number here all right next uh, what we have to do we have to find the prefix mask for 420 hosts so for the first and the second octet the bits will be 8 plus 8 so 16 bits for the third octet we the boundary is this one this line so uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 bits and the third octet will be the will be in the network portion and the remaining ones will be in the host portion so 7 plus 18 uh, sorry, 7 plus 16 will be 23. Oh, sorry, here. It's a magic number. And the prefix mask is 23. All right. Now, we'll find the broadcast later on. Let's find the, uh, uh, what you call, network address for 130 hosts. So 64.64. .64 we increment by 2 because the magic number is 2 in the previous one. And we increment the third octet because this was found in the third octet. So 2.0 slash now for this we have to find the prefix for 130 hosts so 130 hosts we, it falls under the uh, range of 130 hosts falls under the range of 256 why not 128 because 120 is obviously smaller so 256 is the range is the new uh, what you call let's just rub this out we don't need this anymore all right so uh, now we have to find out like the magic number that we found out is one for this uh, 130 host. The magic number is one, and the prefix mask is 24 because the boundary for third octet is at the end. So 24 is the prefix mask. All right. So let's find for the hundred hosts. So 64.64. .64 23 because we have to increment from the magic number of the previous host dot zero slash we have to find the prefix mask so 100 what what is the boundary for 100 let's erase this one the boundary for 100 is 128 this is a new boundary 128 pretty much covers up everything so let's write down the prefix so the here like in the third octet all of the bits are included so 24 24 and then and this one bit from the fourth octet so 25 so 25 is the prefix mask now let's find a magic number magic number is obviously 128 there's nothing below so 128 is the magic number all right next let's increment 
the fourth octet to 128. Why? Because we found 120 in the fourth octet. All right, and the prefix mask we'll find out right now. So let's see the prefix mask uh, for 38. The boundary is 64. Let's draw this. Sorry, rub this out. All right, so 64 is the boundary. So which gives us the prefix mask of so 8 to the 16. 8, 3 is 24 and 25, 26. So 26. All right. Now the magic number for this, let's record it. 64. Because this is the boundary. The number before the boundary is 64. Right. So <clears throat> let's find out for 28 uh, number of holes. For 28 number of holes, let's erase this and draw another line. 28 number of holes is 32 is the uh, what you call boundary. Why? Because 28 is obviously less than 32 and <clears throat> it will cover up the number of hosts and plus the network and the broadcast. Uh, so yeah, now let's <clears throat> write down the network address 64.64.23.128 plus 64. So it will be 192. All right, uh, slash it will be the prefix. The prefix will be since the boundary is 32. So 24, 25, 26, 27. All right. So 27 is the boundary and magic number is 32. Right. Next, we have 6. So 64.64.23.192 plus 32, which gives us 224. Slash the prefix mask for six hosts. Let's find out the boundary for six hosts. Let's erase this. Then, yeah, the boundary for six hosts is eight. Right. So let's jot it down. So six hosts, the boundary is eight. So here it's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So 29 is the prefix mask. 29. Right, and the magic number is 8. <clears throat> now for two hosts, let's add up the 8 to 224. So 224 plus 8 gives us 232. Slash. Now for two hosts, the boundary would be... The boundary would be 4. Why not two? Because like I said, we need to keep an extra space for the network and the broadcast. So that's why we will take four. So the prefix mask will be 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 30 is the boundary for the network host. So 30 is uh, the prefix mask. And the magic number is four. For two, again, we first, sorry, we first decrement it. 64.64.23. So incremented. 232 plus 4 will give you <coughs> 236. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the prefix mask for this will also be the same because 4 is the boundary for our two holes too. So 30. And the magic number is 4. Right. Again, for two hosts, we have 64.64.23.240 slash 30 and again the prefix uh, the boundary is 4 again because for 2 we have to serve up 4 uh, four subnets 4 bits so what you call we have 4 again 64 dot uh, sorry 64.64.23.244 slash 30 and magic number is again 4 so this is the answer for the network address. Now let's find out the broadcast address. It's just the range. So 64.64.20 dot decremented, decrement by one from this. So, sorry, so 21.255, all right? And the prefix mask will still, still be 23. Now for this, it's gonna be 64.64.22 dot 255 again prefix mass with the same 24 then 64.64.23.255 slash slash 25 now again the broadcast for the fourth one 
तो थर्टी एट हो सिक्सटी फोर डॉट सिक्सटी फोर डॉट ट्वेंटी थ्री डॉट वन नाइन वन वन डिक्रीमेंटेड फ्रॉम दिस वन डिक्रीमेंटेड फ्रॉम दिस वो गिव अस ऑल दिस नंबर्स दैट वी गेटिंग राइट सो ओप्स दिस विल बी वन ट्वेंटी सेवन राइट सो वन नाइनटी वन स्लैश ट्वेंटी सिक्स राइट And for this also sixty four dot sixty four dot twenty three dot two twenty three, and prefix will be thirty two. Let's just write them all down. Sorry, prefix will be uh, twenty seven. So what you do is basically just decrement from the next uh, host network address. The boundary of that, so twenty three dot two thirty one, and so on. Let's just keep it till here, and I think you can do the rest. And so yeah, that's about it for BLSM subnetting. That's how you basically solve it. With this method, you can finish it really fast. And uh, what there 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 is another method that you do. You know, you draw a tree, and then you know you extend and uh, and assign the bits to each and every. uh what you call a uh, host that you like that each and every devices that requires that in that many hosts so yeah that that makes that's really like time consuming and i'm, I'm uh, i know that you would have a lot of things other things to write in the exam other than just solving this so yeah this is basically like a shortcut and it solves everything faster and i hope you understood the tutorial um, please subscribe and like if you want more see computer science tutorials and good luck